tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn a pair of jeans into two denim belts. Let's get started. The first step is for the first jeans belt. It's going to be more like a corset. I'm going to remove the waistband. I'm also going to remove the tabs, the belt loops from the jeans itself and the back pockets are going to represent the front of the first denim belt. Hello, I'm Colleen Geely, here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashion clothing. Now ready to cut, so I've turned the jeans onto the wrong side, I'm working on the back of the jeans and I'm cutting along the side seam. I've made myself quite a, quite a large amount of seam allowance for the front, which is here. As you can see this chalk mark is what I'm following in order to create the shape. And then I'm going to flip it over and cut the other side. Just show you the wrong side so I folded in the edges so these are not wings at the side of my body when I put it on and this section is going to be I would like to think of it as a facing so that it gives it a little bit more structure but once I have actually attached it here and attached these here and here and maybe a little bit on the pocket then if I just flip it to the right side as you can see here there's a bit of frame that's happening at the pockets I'm just going to create a little bit here along the line here fold and then it'll be ready to be worn obviously once I've shown you how to add the waistband okay the hand sewing is now done I've hand stitched here and here and also tapped that into place and you may see some little, little marks there which are the me cutting into the denim so that it will be able to fray and that will fray a lot more once it's been washed now for the final part is going to be adding the waistband to this amazing contemporary looking belt can't be twisted which I'm going to obviously show you how you wear it but before I do that I need to stitch in place so I'm going to hand stitch this section here and then it will be ready to be worn. Now I'm going to show you how to wear this contemporary corset apron style. Yeah, I think that's it belt so this is what it looks like and that's the waistband put it against my body like so it's now attached face up there wrap it round and bring that into place should be snug and fasten and there we have it it's so cute! Oh, this is gorgeous. Let me just show you the back. You can see the belt loops are not attached. It could be if you wish, but no, I just like them as they are. Let me show you the back. So happy with this i'm going to wear it while i make number two so it's going to be mainly the legs i'm going to be focusing on 
to make this denim belt. That's going to be the next project. For the second belt, I'm going to continue cutting the length of the side seam of the leg. I've drawn myself a cutting line. I'm going to cut along that line all the way to the hemline of the jeans. Working on the wrong side of the jeans, I'm going to cut all the way down to the hemline, taking the pocket to one side because I don't want to cut into that. I'm starting from the waist waistline and cut all the way down. I'm not happy with the raw edge here, so I want to give this side of the jeans a little bit more structure. So what I'm going to do is add this section here, which is the bottom, the hemline, towards the hemline of the jeans, add it onto here. So I'm just going to cut straight across and there we go. I'm going to add that to here. Yeah, that looks really nice. Once, when I've added that to the back section there, what I will do is, I don't want the raw edges on either side, so I'm going to turn it over to the wrong side and I'm going to use some Wonderweb, which is this stuff. It's just glue, it is actually glue on both sides. I'm going to place it in position like this. I want to keep the pocket, because we're having a secret pocket in this belt and then press it. I've now finished ironing. The Wonderweb is doing a wonderful job of keeping the jeans on the wrong side, the facing, let's call it. So there, it's securely into place. And I've also sewn the hem. This is the hem of the jeans I've sewn here in order to cover that raw edge. I might just leave those sticking out and then hopefully they will fray and kind of pick up with this here. But if not, then I can always put it under, hand stitch it because it's too thick to go under my machine. Now in order to fasten this belt, I have this little feature here, which comes from an old bag of mine that um, wasn't worth giving to a charity shop. I'm going to place it in the middle here like that. And then maybe here or maybe here, I'd need to try it on first and then sew it here and then connect it here with stitches and some little bit of glue and then this will be threaded through. sort of situation happening here a contemporary style denim belt let's call it <laughs> so um I do have a press stud in here that will help to keep it together I'm also going to put a press stud on the other belt as well because as I was wearing the belt while I was making this one I did find that the side of it was slipping a little bit so it does need an extra kind of secure there and I will use the same kind of that I've used there on that jeans, but no, this is so gorgeous, it really is. I'm just happy the way it's turned out. Okay, really happy with the way the two belts have turned out. 
I do have some denim left birthday belt. You've got any ideas? Put those in the comment box below. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and please do share. It's so important that we tell people and inform people that there's so many garments out there that's already in existence that need to be refashioned, and that will help with the sustainability that's happening in the world right now. And this belt, oh, loving it just as much as the other one. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.